Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I made a video today on this using the Polygon tool, and I stated in the video that it was like using the Clone tool, and somebody took me up on it and said, well, how can you make the Clone tool do that? Well, you'd have to draw it out, but first of all, you need some measurements. We're gonna go to Windows Docker's properties and go right here, and we have a almost exactly 15 inch curve around that line. That line is 15 inches. And the way I did that was pi. I took uh, 15 divided, I wanted 15 and divided by pi and came up with 4.775, rounded off. And so we're close enough, I mean, within reason. But then we need some pieces like that uh, part so I divided uh, 15 inches into 21 spikes of the, let me bring that in closer, 21 spikes of the polygon. Now the polygon made it a lot easier, but you might pick up on something. So I, I just drew this, I drew a square box, I rotated it 45 degrees, I turned it into a curve, I'm gonna take and select Basically, you can select all bottom three, right click, break apart, go through here and delete. So now you have a shape. That shape needs to be 0.714285 long. 0.714285. Hit enter. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. I am going to grab well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get it closer. I'm going to hit T like in Tom to put it even closer. Now I'm going to grab that shape with the four point. Start moving and hold down the scroll button. It should snap right to the edge. Now I am going to clone this. And I'm going to move it down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. I'm hoping it'll work under dockers and transform. I'm sure it will with a clone. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna rotate it 17.14285, 20 times. What happened? Okay, I wanna make sure I had a copy of it. 17.14, 285 rotation that's what I didn't hit rotation there's our part now we can actually move this circle out of the way and we can do the exact same thing we did earlier because this was a lot of work but you need to select all these and right click and turn them into a curve and then what's going to happen the clone tool is going to take over and any okay I must have made a copy before I cloned it let's delete that so your clones right here, if you hit it with your pick tool, control curve. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure they're curves and they're not. Then anything you do to this one, it's gonna to do to that one and the one next to it. So you can do exactly what we did today with, but much, much harder. But, you know, you might've picked up something along the way um, to uh, make that sunshine. I actually made it backwards than what the original one was. But that's how you could use the clone. Now these are still individual pieces, but they're all together and they still, because I snapped to, should fill in. And it does. So you can play around with it. The polygon, if you'll watch part one, it's a lot easier uh, to do. And um, this is just another way to look at it. Um, maybe you found out the way to figure out there's, uh, how long a circle is uh, by making it the size it is. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.